Hello everybody, I have an art journal page to share with you today. I am sharing my full process today. I started out the page having something in mind. It didn't work how I wanted it to, and I am going to show you guys how I ended up saving it. Although I'm not 100% in love with the page, I decided to share this process with you guys because I know a lot of people, when I do this, a lot of people say that they enjoy seeing how I fix something or why I change something. So this is what that video is going to be. And uh, also, I haven't really had time to do a lot of videos lately, just a lot going on at the kids' school and just life in general. And now I'm sick, so... Yeah, so just life has just really gotten in the way of making videos regularly like I had planned to, but hopefully uh, after the next couple days I will be back to making videos for you guys. So I uh, start off with a page from the Prima Mixed Media book, and I love the Mixed Media book. You can do so many different things with it, and I add a, I think I added a coat of gesso and then I am now adding some Tim Holtz tissue paper you can also use any type of tissue paper you can make your own tissue paper which is really easy although uh, if you do make your own tissue paper it is um, more delicate than if you buy uh, you know like the Tim Holtz tissue paper so you just have to be a little bit more careful uh, but you can make your own designs. You can stamp on the tissue paper. I do that quite often and I love the result. So I'm using 3D matte gel to adhere the tissue paper to uh, the page. And I do a coat on the bottom and then also a coat on the top. And I'm really not uh, too worried about where I place anything. With my original design in mind, I knew that a lot of it was going to get covered up. Although in the end, uh, I did cover it all up. But that's okay with me. It's all part of the process of creating. And I love just being able to do whatever I feel with art journal. Well, anything that I do actually, mixed media, scrapbook pages, anything, art journaling. I don't really feel there is any rules. Like I could just do what I want. And once I figured out that that's how I wanted to create. I wasn't worried about, you know, I can't use this on this or anything like that. Then it really um, freed the process of creating for me and I just enjoy it a lot better. And what I mean by that is sometimes people could say, oh, well, art journaling is supposed to be this or scrapbooking is supposed to be this. And a lot of us don't fall into those categories when we create and that is definitely okay and I feel once I stopped getting in my own head then I definitely enjoyed the process a lot more so enough rambling I added a coat of gesso and I did water it down just a bit because again I did want some of the print to show through uh, if, in the beginning and then I'm taking a stencil and some light paste and all of the uh, products that I use will be listed down below so be sure to check that out. And I love this stencil and I'm gonna have to actually get another one because I want one for my cards and also one for mixed media. And the one for mixed media, well I use this one for mixed media right now, it just gets all too gooped up with stuff to use like with my Tim Holtz blending tool and stuff like that so uh, after that dried I wanted to add some circles and so I'm just doing that and this is another one of my most used and loved stencils I tend to use the same ones often just because I like the designs I did actually purchase some crafters workshop stencils which will be here uh, in a couple days today's Sunday so probably Tuesday I want to say uh, after that dried I am actually using some Lindy's today I this is bodacious blush and this is where my idea just kind of took a turn so the first color I used was bodacious blush 
And then the lighter brown color is Steampunk Sepia. And then I used also the Tainted Love Teal. So this is where I, I was loving it at first. And I just could not stop with the color. I just kept adding and adding. And then it just didn't turn out how I wanted it to. And it was actually going to go in the trash. Then I stepped away for a while. And then I came back and decided that I was actually just going to save the whole page. So that's what I did. So right now I'm using a precious stone or magic stone. I always get these two mixed up and I hate it. <laughs> I feel like by now I should know. Uh, I wanted uh, more depth on my page. And then this is when I realized that I wasn't uh, beginning to be too happy with my page. It was just not turning out how I envisioned and um, but again I just kept adding color and more color and then I spray a little bit of water to help it move around a little bit and I love how the color just moves around the modeling paste and all of that texture that I put on the page and you know it, here it just kind of kind of just muddled muddied up the color and I just wasn't loving it so definitely going to change that and I think I will do that I think this is where I do that yes so it is completely dry now and I thought oh I'll add a little bit of highlights and wash it out a bit and then I decided nope I'm just going to completely cover it with some white gesso so that is what I'm doing now It probably would have been way easier just to start over, but again, I wanted to show you guys the process from where I started and then it didn't turn out how I wanted it to, so now I am trying to save the whole page because I didn't have that much time to create. I think I had to pick up the kids in an hour-ish at this point, well, when I started actually. <laughs> so I didn't have a lot of time, so I knew that if I started over, then I wouldn't have time to finish the page. So I realized that I needed to get some of that gesso off because it built up and I lost a lot of that texture. So I'm just using a baby wipe and wiping some of that off and it took off a lot of the color too, which was really good because then it lightened up the page and then I thought, okay, I can do this and I can save the page. So I am going to add more gesso and I continue to do this uh, until I feel like I can add more color and it will show through all of that other color down below. And at first I do kind of dry brush on some of that gesso first and then because I don't want it to build up again. That was my whole thing. I really wanted all of that texture that I added with the paste and the stencil to be able to show through once I started adding the color. So I started with the tainted love teal and you saw that I didn't let the gesso dry at all it dries pretty quick anyways but I wasn't really too worried about it um, not being dry I didn't really add a thick coat of it so again I wasn't worried too much and then I add the uh, magic stone to add more depth and I really wanted it to be darker on the left side and lighter on the right side um, in the end, it's all pretty dark. It's actually a really dark page for me, uh, but that's okay. I just in, was enjoying the process at this point. And honestly, looking back at the video, I wish I would have stopped right here and not added any of the um, Nouveau embellishment mousse or anything like that. I wish I would have just stopped, but that's okay. Again, I'm just enjoying the process. And I let that dry. And this is where I add the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. And I am working on a video to show the differences uh, and similarities with the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse and the Finnabar Wax. I know a lot of people ask me which ones to get. They're two totally different products uh, and I will share that in a video really, really soon. This color I'm using here is Cosmic Brown. I'm just taking my finger and rubbing over the top of all of that texture. It really highlights all of that texture on the page. 
and it is water soluble so you can use a paintbrush if you were wanting to add it as a color instead of just rubbing on top of the texture if that makes sense and I do have a video over on scrapbook.com which I will link in the upper right hand corner to the video I made for them uh, five ways to use a Nouveau embellishment mousse which is really informative I think and this stuff the Nouveau embellishment mousse is really awesome so I finish up the page with well almost finish up the page with some paint splatters and at this point I just honestly just wanted to finish it up I felt it was really dark and um, way darker than I anticipated and then I thought when I was trying to figure out a title I thought this was fitting doubt your fear and I thought that was perfect for this page these are from the Tim Holtz tiny chat or something like that I don't know I'll have the links down below to the products I used I did want a little bit more texture on my page so I am taking some Thin and Bear stamps and some stays on ink and stamping randomly around the page. I really like these circle stamps because I can kind of bend them a little bit if I don't want a full circle of texture if I want just kind of random texture here and there and they work really well for adding just a little bit more texture and uh, interest to your page or project and then I add more splatters paint splatters <laughs> that is going to complete this page I hope you guys enjoyed I know it was a little bit rambly I'm not feeling the greatest and I just wanted to get this video up for you guys because I know that you guys appreciate uh, when I do share how I mess up and how I fix it I uh, want to thank you guys for watching and here's a couple more videos you might enjoy. I hope you hit that subscribe button and share on social media. It really helps me out and I will catch you guys later. Bye.